Bowl team, the Warriors, at Biloxi's Yankee Stadium tonight. This is always an emotional game, and both teams were ready. The Indians came out first, followed by the Warriors. There were too many penalties tonight. Last play of the first quarter, Biloxi running back, Larico Mathis, picks up nine yards up to the Indians, 48. Biloxi quarterback Marcus Whitfield rolls up and finds Trevos. Richard on fourth and seven. That's a 10-yard pickup to the D'Ambeville 27. Two plays later on third and eight from the Warriors 26. Jason Hockaday recovers the loose ball, ending Biloxi's threat. The Indians made too many mistakes tonight. D'Ambeville goes to its running game. Carlton Cotton explodes up the middle. 11 yards cut down at the Biloxi 43. As you can see, heavy hitting tonight. Cotton rips off 11 yards, bowling his way to the 31. Facing second and one from the Indians, 21. Warriors quarterback Nick Ladner keeps. He won't go down until he bowls his way for 12 yards down to the nine. However, on second and goal from the three, the ball pops loose, and Biloxi's Tyler Smith recovers in the end zone. That's the touchback, ending the Warriors' threat. Third quarter, Biloxi drops the ball on first and 10 from their own 10. Lennon McMurray and recovers for the Warriors. On third down, Nick Ladner pitches to Carlton Cotton. Goes 10 yards for the touchdown, giving D'Iberville a 7 0 lead. Indians take to the airways, but Tommy Seawright comes up with the interception at the Biloxi 28. Warriors in great field position. The Indians' defense stiffens. Here comes Darren McCaleb. He drills a 42 yard field goal with run the spare, and the Warriors extend their lead 10 0 that final tonight. D'Iberville 31.